Conor McGregor will no longer fight Michael Chandler at UFC 303 on June 29th in Las Vegas, UFC President Dana White said Thursday night. McGregor, 22-6, was scheduled to headline the event but has withdrawn because of injury. It's the first time in McGregor's storied UFC career he's pulled out of a fight for any reason. The new main event is a light heavyweight title fight between Alex Pereira and G. Proc Ska, according to White. White also announced two more new fights to the card. Diego Lopez will face Brian Ortega in the co-main event and Carlos Wilberg will now fight Anthony Smith in a light heavyweight bout after Jamal Hill, who was slated to fight in the co-main event, is out due to injury. According to White, the sellout event was on pace to set a record for the UFC, with a live gate of more than $20 million. The UFC has not announced whether the non-title welterweight bout between McGregor and Chandler will be rescheduled. McGregor, 35, was set to return to competition for the first time since he suffered a broken leg in a TKO loss to Dustin Poirier in July 2021. The former featherweight and lightweight champion has only fought four times since a blockbuster boxing match against Floyd Mayweather Jr. in 2017. McGregor is 1-3 in those appearances, with two losses to Poirier and a submission defeat to Khabib Nurmagomedov in a 2018 title fight. The June fight being called off is a disappointing chapter in what's become something of a saga between McGregor and Chandler. Chandler, a former champion in Bellator MMA, first called out McGregor in earnest in 2022. The UFC announced the two would coach against each other on the Ultimate Fighter reality series in early 2023, which went ahead as scheduled that spring. A fight date did not come together until early this year, however, for various reasons. The UFC's former drug testing partner, the United States Anti-Doping Agency, USADA, claimed McGregor's situation led to the dissolution of its UFC program, as the promotion wanted to grant McGregor an exemption of a six-month testing requirement following his leg injury. UFC Chief Business Officer Hunter Campbell denied that assertion and demanded a public apology. The UFC has since partnered with several other agencies to run its drug program. McGregor, of Ireland, promised via a tweet that his return to the Octagon this year would be the start of the greatest comeback in sports history. The UFC scheduled a public news conference with McGregor and Chandler on June 3rd at 3 Arena in Dublin, but canceled the event just 12 hours before doors were to open, which prompted speculation on the status of the fight. Chandler, 38, has not fought since a back-and-forth loss to Poirier at UFC 281 in November 2022. He has only expressed a passing interest in potential bouts against Nate Diaz, who is currently not signed to the UFC, or BMF titleholder Max Holloway. UFC CEO Dana White announced via his social media channels that UFC light heavyweight champion Alex Pereira will defend his belt for the second time in as many months as he takes on G. Proc. Sky UFC 303 on June 29th. The announcement came in the wake of the cancellation of the bout between the notorious Conor McGregor and Iron Michael Chandler being scrapped due to an injury to McGregor. Pereira, who defended his 205-pound title against Jamal Hill in UFC 300's main event, makes the quick turnaround against a familiar foe in Proc Ska. The two squared off for an intense two-round affair in New York City in November 2023 for the then-vacant title, and Poetin came away victorious. Proc? Ska bounced back at UFC 300 with a statement-making finish of his own over Alexander Rakey. White also announced a new co-main event, a thrilling featherweight matchup between former featherweight title challenger Brian T-City Ortega and the fast-rising Diego Lopez. Ortega last fought in February in UFC's return to Mexico City, where he earned a long-awaited bounce-back victory over Yair Rodriguez to maintain his position in the featherweight title picture. Lopez, one of 2023's breakout newcomers, announced himself as a real force at 145 pounds with his first-round knockout win over Sadiq Yusuf at UFC 300. The bout against Ortega presents Lopez a wickedly ripe opportunity to jump into the featherweight elite as the contender's jockey for position to challenge newly minted champion Ilya Tapiria. This bout takes place in lieu of the scheduled matchup between former light heavyweight champion Hill and fast-rising New Zealander Carlos Ulberg. Hill is no longer scheduled to fight due to a knee injury. Stepping into his spot is former light heavyweight title challenger Anthony Smith, 
who most recently submitted Vitor Petrino at UFC 301 in Brazil. It remains a high-profile opportunity for Ulberg, who comes into the bout on a six-fight winning streak, including five consecutive finishes. Most recently, Ulberg knocked out Alonzo Minifield in 12 seconds at UFC Fight Night. Lewis vs. Nascimento. Pereira Proc, Scott two caps off another international fight week, which includes the UFC Hall of Fame ceremony on June 27, as well as the annual UFC X Fan Experience on June 28 and 29. Stay tuned to UFC.com for any updates regarding all events. Don't miss a moment of UFC 303, McGregor vs. Chandler, live from T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada. Prelims start at 8 p.m. Eastern Time, 5 p.m. Pacific Time, while the main kicks off live on PPV at 10 p.e.t. slash 7 p.m. p.t. Strawweight Josephine Knutson is eager to secure her second UFC win at UFC Fight Night. Perez vs. Terra UFC's subtle collection captures the low-key aesthetic for your summer fit VIP and general admission tickets on sale now. Event to stream exclusively around the globe live and free on Rumble Follow Dana White and his trusted advisors as they face the euphoric highs and crushing lows of the fight business and fighting inside the UFC.